Chief Executive Carrie Lam has announced in her policy address that the government will expedite its planning work and resume three types of private land wholly for developing public housing and starter homes. The three types of land to be resumed include privately owned brownfield sites in the new territories that may have development potential, private land which has been zoned for high-density housing development in statutory outline zoning plans but without any development plans yet, and urban private land located in Cha Kuo Ling, Ngao Chi Wan and Chuk Yun United Villages, suitable for high-density housing development. Mrs Lam said about 700 hectares of private land will be resumed, of which some 400 hectares are expected to be resumed in the next five years significantly more than the 20 hectares resumed in the past five years. What's more, the Development Bureau will soon announce details of the land-sharing pilot scheme, with the target of accepting applications early next year. The government will facilitate infrastructural enhancement to allow higher development intensity and prescribe that at least 70% of the additional gross floor area gained should be allocated for public housing or starter homes, as intended by the government. The government has also accepted the multi-pronged strategy recommended by the Task Force on Land Supply including reclamation in the central waters for developing the Kao Yi Chow artificial islands and other options of nearshore reclamation outside Victoria Harbour. In addition, the government will re-plan the coastal development of Tun Mun West, including exploring the feasibility of developing the coastal areas, which also cover the river trade terminal, into residential areas. More than 300 government institution or community sites that are earmarked for standalone public facilities will be reviewed for development under the single site multi use model, while non governmental organizations will be assisted in optimizing their underused sites. Mrs. Lamb said the government is determined to create home ownership opportunities for people of different income groups, so they will happily make Hong Kong their home.